Hello, boys and girls. I hope you survived the first day of distance learning. I hope it wasn't too difficult for you. Today, we're going to be moving on to finding the volume of rectangular prisms. First, we're going to start some bell work. Select all the properties that both rectangles and rhombuses share. Now think back to when we talked about what properties rhombuses and rectangles have. Um, select your answers. You can put it on a piece of paper, pause the video. And then when you have your selections, come back and we'll see if you are correct. Did you choose these answers? If you did, you chose all the correct ones. Emilio's family has a sandcastle kit. The kit includes molds for several solid figures that can be used to make sandcastles. One of the molds is a rectangular prism like the one shown at the right. How much sand will it take to fill the mold? Today we're going to use a different formula for volume than we did yesterday. This formula is volume equals the area of the base times the height. In other words, they express it V equals B, meaning area of the base, times H, the height. Now remember from yesterday we talked about the area of the base is the length times the width of the base of the rectangular prism. So in this case, the area of the base would be 5 times 4. And there they show you. When you do 5 times 4, you're calculating the area of the yellow part inside the figure, which is 5 times 4, which is 20, times whatever the height measurement is. Because the height really tells you how many layers, if you filled it with cubes, that you have. So in this case, the height is 8. So we're going to do 20 times 8. And 20 represents the area of the base, which is multiplying these two numbers. And you get this yellow section. And then times the height, which is 8. That's the height. So our answer is 20 times h, which is 160 cubic inches. Anthony is building a doghouse for his three dogs. He wants the doghouse to have a length of 5 meters, a width of 3 meters, and a height of 1 meter. What will be the volume in cubic meters of Anthony's doghouse? See if you can calculate this on your separate piece of paper, pausing the video first, and then come back and we'll see if you got the correct answer. Did you multiply the area of the base first, 5 times 3, and got 15 square meters, and then multiplied it times the height, which is 1 meter, which made it come out to be 15 cubic meters. The base of a rectangular prism is 20 square feet and the height is 15 feet. Which equation can you use to find the volume of the rectangular prism? What do we need to know to solve this question? Well, we need to know the area of the base times the height. And that's what this capital B stands for. Capital B stands for the area of the base, which is otherwise known as length times width. So you would have to know what the length times width is, which it says the base is 20 square feet. Now, the word square feet tell us right there that this is the area because square means you multiply two numbers together to get square feet. So they multiplied 
the length times the width, they got 20 square feet. That's the area of the base, 20 square feet. And we multiply that times the height, 15 feet. And this, of course, the capital B means area of the base or length times width. Length times width times height. Okay, so it, given that information, we know that the area of the base would be 20 square feet times, because 20 is the area of the base, times the height, which is 15 feet. Twenty times fifteen feet. Huh? That went the wrong place. The answer is B. All right, it's your turn now. Go ahead and get your piece of paper and a pencil, and you're gonna find the answer to this problem. The height of a rectangular prism is thirty-five feet, and the base is eighty square feet. Okay, when they say the base, they mean the area of the base because I see the word square and I know that that comes from multiplying two numbers together. So the area of the base is 80 times the height, which is 35 feet. So make your choice, A, B, C, or D, pausing the video first, then come back and we'll talk about the answer. All right, did you choose A? 80 square feet times 35 feet, 80 square feet being the area of the base times the height, which is 35. All right, on your piece of paper, you are going to pause the video and solve these two problems. Good luck. All right. Did you notice that at the top on this question, they said you have to solve it finding the area of the base times the height. So you should have done the area of the base first, which would be the width times the length, four times four. So that gives you 16 square feet times the height, seven. Did you get the last answer for that one? 16 square feet times seven feet. That is the correct answer. Number two, um, Jacob is making a mailbox. He wants the mailbox to have an area of the base of 25 square feet. So the area of the base is already calculated for you. It's 25, or square inches, I'm sorry, and a height of eight inches. So you should have multiplied 25 times eight to get the volume. And in this case, it would be 200 square inches. Here's your independent practice. Go ahead and work these problems out on your paper and then come back and double check your answers. Are you ready to check your answers? Look at number one. Michael is measuring to find the amount of space inside his school desk shaped like a rectangular prism. The area of the base is 88 centimeters squared and the height is 16 centimeters. What is the volume in cubic centimeters of his desk? If you got 1,408 square centimeters, I'm sorry, make that cubic centimeters, then you are correct. Number two, a rectangular prism has a height of seven feet and a base, which means area of the base, of 120 square feet. Which equation can you use to find the volume of the rectangular prism? You should have chosen D, 120, actually it should be square feet, times seven feet. Number three, a rectangular classroom floor has an area of 255 square feet and the height is nine feet. Which equation can you use to find the volume of the classroom? You should have chosen C. 255 square feet times nine feet will give you the volume in the classroom. Number four, Trina rented a storage unit. She's going to stack boxes of clothing and seasonal items. The unit has an area of the base of 420 square feet. 
The height of the unit is 12 feet. What is the volume of the storage unit? You should have multiplied 420 times 12. And you should have gotten 5,040 cubic feet. Now you're ready for the exit slip. You know what to do. Close out of this presentation and move to your next assignment on Google Math.